part-time flash view door panel. Let's start. Go to file. Let's create a new family. Let's select the metric generic model. <coughs> Open. Let's change the scale to 1 is to 10. Okay. Go to family category. Select the doors. Okay. Let's create a reference plane. Okay, select the reference plane mirror. Pick the center line. Dimension. Select the three reference plane. Make it equal. Dimension. Select the two reference plane. Select the dimension and select the the width. Create a reference plane, select mirror, select the center line, dimension, select the three reference plane, make it equal, dimension, okay, select the dimension and select the thickness, okay. Next, <coughs> go to front elevation, create a reference plane, type RP, select this reference line, okay, dimension, select the dimension and select the height. Go to family types. Let's change the thickness to 45. The width is 1000 millimeter and the height is 2100. Apply. OK. Next, go to reference level. Um, check. Go to front, uh, front elevation. Let's create a <coughs> reference plane. Okay, create here and one here for the view pane. Next, dimension select the two reference plane. Okay, select the reference plane and change the value to 125. This is the minimum width thickness. Select the dimension and lock. <coughs> select the two planes dimension. Let's create a new parameter and name this view. Pain height. Okay. Next, uh, create a reference plane. Okay, draw a reference plane <coughs> here. Dimension. Okay. One twenty five. Okay, select the dimension and lock <coughs> next reference plane. Draw a reference plane dimension. Select 
this dimension the 125 let's create a parameter let's make this view pane offset <coughs> okay and this one the 280 select create a new parameter and name this view pane width okay next let's got uh, select the family types let's change the value per the view pane height let's say 700 and the view pane width is 150 apply okay and let's make this 200 okay <coughs> next go to create select the extrusion now let's create the flash door panel select the rectangle create a rectangle here and a big rectangle here then align align select the reference plane align lock select the reference plane align lock select align lock select reference plane align lock select reference plane align lock select align lock okay next finish the extrusion go to reference level okay drag the arrow select and drag the arrow remove constraints select okay move remove constraints okay next align select this reference plane align lock align okay to 3d view okay type pg and select the object style let's change the blue to black okay next let's check the parameters view pane height let's say 800 okay good the width 800 okay uh, one, let's go back to 1000 okay <coughs> go to reference level let's insert the lock set okay select this lock set or the door handle open okay then load into the project load into family one okay okay pick place on vertical pace okay next select the door handle select the label handle okay select and go to thickness pick the button and select the thickness of the door so it match the thickness for the door handle go to edit type for the door handle finish pick the button Let's create a parameter to map the 
finish name it lock set finish okay 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 then go to create let's create a reference plane for the lock set offset select the two reference plane select the dimension let's create a parameter name it lock set offset okay now go to front elevation let's create a reference plane for the lock set height okay select dimension select this reference level and this reference plane okay select the dimension and create a parameter lock set height <coughs> okay uh, go to family types for the lock set height change it to 1000 millimeter lock set offset 70 okay next let's align the lock set S select the reference plane align select this reference plane align the center line of the lock set okay or the door handle okay next let's create a reference plane okay reference plane for the kick plate or mop plate height okay make a dimension select the dimension and create a parameter and name this kick or mop plate okay okay next go to family types change the value of the kick plate height to 300 okay good okay next let's go to reference level okay Let's create, select the extrusion, select rectangle, draw a rectangle here, and one above, align, select reference plane, align, lock, select, align, lock, select, align, lock, select, align lock select this reference plane align lock select align lock okay select this line change the value to one millimeter for the thickness of the kick plate select this line change the value to one millimeter okay finish the extrusion Go back to front elevation, align, select reference plane and align, lock. Okay, almost there. Uh, let's go to realistic. Let's select this door panel. Uh, let's go to materials, pick the button. Let's create parameter uh, name this flash door finish okay <coughs> okay next select this kick plate go to material and finishes create new parameter and name this kick or map plate finish okay okay 
go to family types material and finishes select the flash door finish uh, go to material library select the AEC materials go to wood select the wood insert select and right click rename rename this to wood flash door okay <coughs> apply select the kick map plate finish pick the button go to materials library okay select AEC materials uh, go to metal and select the steel chrome plated uh, stainless steel brush insert rename stainless steel brush uh, kick or mop plate <coughs> Okay, then apply, next let's go, let's look at the 3D, graphic display, realistic, okay, check, rotate the view, okay, we need to add the glass pane here, Let's go to reference level. Let's create a reference plane. Pick. Okay. Select the rep, uh, reference plane mirror. Dimension the three reference plane. Then make it equal. Next, select these two reference plane. Okay, select the dimension. Let's create a new parameter. Name this view pane thickness. <coughs> okay. Next. Uh, let's create a extrusion. Select, draw a rectangle. Okay, draw a rectangle. Align. Select this reference plane. Align. Lock. Select. Align. Lock. Select. Align. Lock. Select. Align. Lock. Okay. Go to family types change the view paint thickness to 10 millimeter okay finish go to front elevation okay okay move the arrow okay let's change the graphic display to wireframe okay Align. Okay, lock. Okay, select the the glass pane, view pane. Okay, move the arrow. Okay. Next, uh, just, uh, select align and align. Lock. Okay. Control tab to select. Select the view pane. Go to material and finishes, pick the button and create a new parameter. And name this view pane <coughs> finish. Okay. Okay. Go to family types, view pane finish, 
click the button go to material library select the AEC materials select the glass and let's select the glass clear glazing insert ok rename add the view pane ok apply and let's change the render appearance to blue light blue or this blue ok use render appearance ok let's change this select again ok apply ok let's go to shaded or the realistic next 3d view ok check <coughs> next uh, after that uh, let's save the family save this name it uh, flash view uh, door panel save <coughs> and load into the project pick align select align select the center line of the door panel placeholder select the center center line select align now let's check the parameter let's check change the value to 60 ok error constraint are not satisfied ok select I think we forgot to check the work plane in the family ok right click edit the family ok check work plane base ok Check always vertical. Okay, save. Yes. Okay. Let's go back to the. Let's delete this. Okay. Go back to the family. Load into the project. Okay. Select the place on work plane. Pick. Then align. Select the center line and select a line lock. Select the center line lock. Okay. Let's try again the parameters. The opening angle 60. Okay, good. 90. Okay, perfect. 20. Okay. Next, select the the door panel. Uh, offset from hose. Pick the button. Select seal height. Okay. Go to edit type. Dimension. Pick the button. Let's create a new parameter name this kick map plate height <coughs> okay 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 lock set height pick the button select the lock set height 
Okay, lock set offset. Click the button. Lock set offset. Okay. Thickness. Select the thickness. Okay. View panel height. Click the button. Create new parameter. Uh, name it view panel height. Okay. View panel offset. Create new parameter. Name it view pane offset. Okay, okay. View pane width. Uh, view pane thickness. Create new parameter. Name it view pane thickness. Okay, okay. View pane width. Click the button. Name it view pane width. Okay, okay. Width. Uh, select the width. Okay, for the height. Select the actual height okay we need to map also the finishes select the flash door finish for the kick and map like finish I think we need to create a new parameter <coughs> kick map plate finish Okay. Lock set finish. Say select the door handle finish. Okay. View paint finish. Select the new parameter. <coughs> Name this view paint finish. Okay. Okay. Think okay. Next, let's change the width to 800. Okay, good. Let's check the 3D. Okay, select the door panel placeholder. Select. And hide element. Okay. Check. Let's try the parameter. Make it 1000. Okay. The view pane height. Let's go back to 800. Okay. Kick map plate height. Let's try the 200. Okay. Okay. Next, apply. Okay. See you on part six. Thank you.